I'm going to show you how to summon your global colors using a bit of CSS and a free code snippet that you can jump to by going to the link in the video description. This is really, really simple and easy to do. Let me first clarify what some of you are probably already aware that you could do, but something you might have struggled with when you were trying to use a custom color. I've got some headings and I've got some text. And over here, we have our standard global colors, primary, secondary, accent and text. And then down here, I've got some custom colors. Now, I've intentionally left this one as new item hyphen six. Because when you add in a new color, usually this is what will happen. You'll get hyphen one, hyphen two, hyphen three. And then I've gone and added in a few more, but I've gone and given them names. Mid underscore gray, navy space gray, and then brown hyphen shade. And I've done this intentionally again, because I'm going to summon these back to my text over here. Now, all of these have currently got some colors assigned to them via my custom CSS. And I'm going to jump straight to that and I'm going to reveal the code, but why you then need to use a code snippet to make sure it works. And don't get scared of all the code, okay? Because I'm reusing some code I shared with you in a recent video. And again, you can go and get this from the link that I've got in my video description where we're using a clamp calculation formula for our headings and our text. So when you go from mobile to desktop or whatever screen size, within the parameters that we set, your font's going to shrink and grow, which is great for responsive websites. But what you'll notice over here for heading number one, it says color var global color primary. So that means every time I add in a heading and I then set it to be a H1 using the tag, it will now always be the primary color. And there is the primary color. If I was to go over here and change my H1 from primary to be accent, can you see the accent color that is here came through? And if I was to go down to my secondary and change that to be text, the text color would come in. Now, here's the bit that won't normally work. Over here for my H5, I've said brown underscore shade even though it's brown hyphen shade i've changed it to underscore we've got navy gray for my h4 this is navy space gray but now i've gone for navy underscore gray and where we've got mid gray well that already had an underscore in there and i've just gone and maintained it the underscores are quite important now you're looking at this going well that's pretty simple you renamed it and then you just summoned it back no let me show you what this would look like if I deactivate my code snippet. This is what you would see. Heading three, four, five, and six are all the primary color because headings default to the primary global color. So if this was green, all of these would be green except H1 and H2. Now H1 and H2 are using the accent and the secondary CSS syntax and they work perfectly fine. But the reason why you're not going to get the colors you think you want to get, and in fact, I'm just going to go over and show you. So I've clicked on my H3 heading. I've clicked on the style tab, and now I'm going to pick navy gray. Navy gray will come through, okay, because I've gone and selected that because we don't have that code snippet applied. And I know I'm getting to it, okay? So for doing your primary, secondary accent and text is pretty simple. But if I was to now go and pick this particular custom color, which just to remind you again, because I know I just went and clicked it, was the navy gray. And then I preview it. I'm going to inspect this heading. You will see above my head color var e global color 0b450691. What does that mean? It's a variable that gets added by Elementor in how they assign the custom color. But that bears no relation to what we have over here, 5B5776. How does that even translate to that? If anyone can work it out with some funky algorithm Excel spreadsheet, please send it over. So if I was to now just go and undo that, can you see it goes back to the primary color? That's the color that's being applied. The code snippet is going to standardize that so that rather than you now going, well, I want the H3 to be this color, and you won't know that until you go and inspect all of your heading threes and heading fours or whatever to go and get the random variable, which is just going to blow your mind. But the code snippet I'm going to show you is going to allow you to now pop in the actual words. Bear in mind, though, like I've shown you earlier, if you have got a underscore, you can leave that in. If you have got a space, replace the space with an underscore. And if you've got a hyphen, replace that with an underscore as well, just to keep things consistent. So let me now show you the code snippet. Not much to show, really. I'm using the code snippets plugin that you can get for free from the WordPress repository. 
click the link in the video description to go and get this code. You want to go and copy and paste it in or import. Follow the instructions that I do give you when you do click that link. Go and give it a title, save changes and activate. And inside of my CSS code, you can see I've got navy underscore gray, brown underscore shade, and I've got mid underscore gray as well. And if I now go and hit update and I view my page in preview, I mean, you could, I think you could see it when I was showing you the CSS anyway, all of those colors have come through. And if I now go to my H3 and I now inspect it, the primary color that is set for this is now crossed out. And over here, you can see that the color description has mid underscore gray. And if I was to untick that, it would go back to the primary color. OK, you can see what it's doing. But the big warning I want to give you is that over here we have new item hyphen six. That is not going to work. So if I wanted to apply that to my heading six, give it the proper name instead. We're going to call it blue color like that and I've intention in fact I'll go and call it one two three as well with spaces go back over to my custom CSS copy over some code from above so we've got color var da, 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 da. and then where I have color here get rid of where it says brown shade and I've typed in blue underscore color underscore one two three now don't worry if you don't see it straight away you often have to hit update and just refresh the page. And as soon as you've refreshed, H6 is now using the new blue color. Now, I know you're going to say, but it still says new item. This is a screenshot, OK? If I go over to global colors, you'll see their blue color, one, two, three. And again, the other point I want to make is that even though I had a capital B there, you can put in lowercase as well when you come to do the CSS. So if you now want to be a bit more prescriptive or funky or set up like a framework for the styling, so you don't just want to do your weightings, your line height, your font clamp or your calculations, you can now be very particular with your colors. And if I was to go and type in hashtag hero before the H1, if I had some text inside of, say, a container for my hero banner and I gave that the ID hero, I could say hashtag hero H1 and it will only apply that cal lamp calculation that font weight and that accent color to that heading or H1 that's got the hero ID assigned to it. So without the code snippet, you're not going to be able to use your wording or anything from here because it has these random variables. But if you want to now start using them within your CSS and, and you can still use the global ones as well or the standard ones, but this is the really key bit because we always add loads of custom colors, right? You can do that with that free code snippet. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings.